So we're standing here today on the site of what will be the new Duchess Park in Prince George. The park is a result of a three-way agreement between the province of BC and the school district number 57. Through this agreement, city lands at Allward Park were transferred to the Canadian Care Society for the new care lodge. In exchange, the city received lands here at the Duchess School site for development as a new community park. Duchess Park was conceived over a century ago through the city beautiful town site plan for Prince George. In this plan, Duchess Park would be the central green space within the radiating streets and vistas that connect the Crescents to downtown Prince George. Throughout this time, school uses have dominated uh, this site. And in 2010, the new Duchess Park Secondary School facility opened to the public. During this time, the former school facility on Ross Crescents was demolished. This site would serve as the new park that would service the school as well as the community. So on April 4th, 2011, Council approved a plan for Duchess Park. This plan started with the development or a review of the relevant policies that would apply to this new park. It also included a great deal of public input from the community um, through a series of open houses, public input surveys, and focus group discussions, we were able to determine the community needs for this park. Um, through this consultation, it became very clear that people were looking for a variety of activities for various ages and mobility levels. The plan for the park features a number of components, such as a trail system, fenced dog park, all-weather field, accessible playground, uh, mini bike park and multi-purpose courts. The first phase of the park's construction would occur in 2011 and that will essentially include greening of the park as well as the trail system, the fence dog park and the first phase of the accessible playground. Future phases of the park's development would occur through secured partnerships and funding sources. Some of these are already in place, such as with the Prince George Accessible Advisory Committee who are currently working to fundraise for an accessible playground for the park. We're also working with the Prince George Agriculture and Historical Association, who are commonly known as the PGX, who have applied for over $300,000 worth of funding that could be secured for various arts and heritage components in the park. Other partnerships are, are currently in the initial stages, such as with the Cycling Club, which would see the potential development of a mini bike park in this facility. So to the various people who've provided their input into this plan um, through the general community as well as our stakeholders and to council, we thank you for your support and for making a, a plan possible that meets so many of the various needs. We're very excited to work with you on this project and see this park come to its fruition.